Welcome back to How to Build a Blog with Laravel. Um, this is part number 40. We have come a long way. This is, I can't believe we've done 40 parts, guys. But in this video, we're gonna talk about how we can delete items in our many-to-many -many relationships, okay, without breaking anything. So when you have a many-to-many -many relationship, you have this thing in the middle called the pivot table that links, a, for in our case, a post to a tag. Now, what happens if you delete a tag? Well, if you don't worry about cleaning up that pivot table, you could still have posts looking for tags that they think exist that no longer exist, and that can cause major problems. So we're gonna talk about how to solve that problem here in the video today. All right, guys, welcome back. So this video, again, is all about deleting these relationships from that when we have these many-to-many -many relationships and we have these pivot tables where we have we can't just delete tags or delete posts. We have to make sure we clean everything up before we actually delete something so that we aren't linking to items that no longer exist, okay? If we have a post that's that links to tag number nine and we delete tag number nine, it could still think that it's linked to tag number nine. We have to tell it no longer to be linked to tag number nine because if it, if we don't tell it that, then it's looking for an item that no longer exists and that's a problem, okay? So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about a method today called detach. It's actually really easy to use in Laravel. This would be much more difficult if you didn't have these handy functions, but luckily Laravel has is um, you know watching out for you. It's got your back and it's got these handy methods to make these things really, really easy, okay? So first of all, let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you how to do it the way we're gonna do it. And then at the end, I wanna to talk to you guys about a few methods you can do if you don't want this method. There's a few other ways to handle it, but I think this is the best way to handle deletes, okay? So um, first things first, we're gonna go over to our project and just open it on up. Those of you guys that are tuning in for the first time, you can go ahead and watch, and hopefully this makes sense for you. If you do wanna learn more about Laravel, we've got this full series, we're 40 parts in, um, it's at over, well over 20 hours worth of content that you can watch where we take you from an absolute beginner to knowing Laravel pretty, pretty well. Um, so if you're interested in that, the link is in the description for the playlist that we're watching right now. Okay, for those of you guys following along, we're going to go over to our post controller under app HTTP uh, controllers and post controller. And you might be wondering why the post controller? Well, remember that we have a post linked to a tag and a tags are linked to many posts, okay? So we have this relationship that actually goes both ways and we can't just delete one of the relationships. We actually have to make sure we handle it um, both directions. If someone deletes a post, we need to clean up the post so that none of the tags are linking to posts that no longer exist, okay? We need to make sure we get that all cleaned up so tags don't get confused about a post that they're linked to when the post no longer exists, okay? So that's what we're gonna be doing right now. Now in, in a second, we're gonna flip it around and if somebody, we're gonna handle it when we delete the tag, we're gonna make sure posts don't delete to tag, don't link to tags that don't exist, okay? So we're going both directions. So we're gonna start with the post because we've already set up the destroy method in our post controller. We did this a long time ago. We've got all of our crud and at the bottom of our controller here, we've got our destroy method, okay? The destroy method, as all, you all know by now, is when we actually wanna delete a, um, an, a, a resource, and in this case, a post. So when we delete the post, we find the post right here by the ID number that's passed in and then we just handle this post delete method. It deletes the post like it never existed. We have a flash message saying it was successful and we redirect and show that flash message on the um, index page for the posts. Pretty simple, right? We're gonna add only one line of code thanks to this Laravel help uh, method called post detach, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our post item. So make sure you already have the post um, object here like we did here. So we're gonna grab that item and we're going to reference tags and then we're going to say detach. Now the only reason we can do this is because we've set up that relationship previously so it knows what to do, all right? And when you just pass in this detach without any parameters, it knows to remove any reference of posts to the post tags model, okay? So if we open up our database here, um, let's connect real quick, let's open up blog. Basically what we're telling it to do is we're saying, hey, if we delete post number nine, 
we want to also, before we delete it, we want to detach post number nine from tags. So it goes over to this post tag, it finds any reference to the post number nine like this, and it will delete these rows so that, and none of the tags link to post number nine, which will no longer exist, which could cause problems, all right? That's what we're telling it to do. We're saying detach any reference to the current post. In this case, we have an object called post. So when we do post tags detach, it deletes any reference to the post that we're currently referencing. Let's go through, do a quick test. So we're gonna come over here. I'm gonna open up a new tab and run our server. And then we're gonna come over to our window here and we're gonna go to localhost 8000. And um, let's see, let's go ahead and make a brand new post. So we're gonna sample our testing tags. We're gonna have a testing tag slug. We're gonna give it that category. Let's give it a couple tags here. Okay, so we gave it three tags. And then let's go ahead and save it obviously. This should all work, should good. So we just saved it. And um, you can see now that the tags, if we take um, like marketing for example, you can see that marketing is referencing this uh, post 11, okay? It's referencing this testing tags. Again, if we open up our database now, you can see that there's now three references to this post, okay? So um, if we go to item number, to tag number two, like PHP, it's also referencing testing tags, all right? Now the question is, if we go over to our post, and now we delete this post, testing tags, let's go ahead and delete this post. And now hopefully everything was deleted, but what we wanna see is that it also deleted these three rows. So let's go ahead and refresh. And sure enough, it deleted those rows, which means nothing's broken. If we go over to our, over to our tags, this marketing tag, you can see it just no longer references that um, post because it doesn't have a link to that post in the pivot table. Pretty simple. So now we're gonna do the exact same thing for tags. And we're gonna, whenever we delete a tag, we wanna make sure we, re we delete any reference to that tag that our posts might have, okay? So if we were to, let's go ahead and add a new tag real quick, just to test things. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna call this test um, destroy tag. We'll just call it destroy, okay? So we've got this tag called destroy. It's not linked to any post. So let's come over to our posts real quick and link them a, a few of them. This tag number eight links to all four different posts, right? Now we can't just randomly delete this tag because then that those, if we delete the tag, again, we're gonna have the links are still gonna link to posts that, and posts are gonna be trying to find this tag that doesn't exist and we'll get errors and 500 server errors and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to Sublime and now we're gonna head on over our post model set. We need to go over to our tag model now because we're gonna be deleting tags. And we need to make sure now when we delete a tag that we don't just delete it randomly and not tell anybody. We have to also tell um, the pivot table to, to delete any reference to it. We need to do the detach method. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna just um, set up our destroy method. So we're gonna do tag equals tag find. And this is just gonna get the object by the ID. All right, and then now that we got the object, we'll go tag and we'll go posts detach all right this is going to reference delete any reference to this tag in our post tag model after that we're safe to actually delete the tag and you guys know how to do this we just do destroy if i could type it'd be even better um actually it's not destroy it's delete there we go okay so um and then down here we can set up our session just to to let the user know that it was all successful All right, just like that. And then we can redirect. So we'll just return, redirect, and um, we'll redirect it to our um, tags.index model or controller or route, whatever. <laughs> we'll delete to the tags index uh, route and we're set. So our destroy method is all set up. The only thing we need now is a button that actually executes this code. If you remember when we go to our um, routes file, route list and um, if we come down here to tags destroy you can see that the tags destroy needs this delete method okay you can't just 
randomly send it you need a delete method okay now we did talk about this a while ago so hopefully you guys remember in order to do that delete method we need to actually create a form in order to do that so we're going to do that real quick we're going to go over to our views and we're going to set this up so we have a button to delete a tag so we'll go into our tags real quick and then in our tags we'll go to the show page and then in the show page basically we have this button up here if you remember that says um edit let's head on over there real quick so if I go to, oh, it's right here. So this page right here, this is this shows our tag um, and it shows all of the posts that link to that tag and so forth. We have an edit button right here. We're gonna go ahead and add a destroy button or a delete button right next to it. So let's come back over and we're basically going to, um, let's see, for this button what we did is we made it two columns wide, but we offset it by two columns. So what I'm gonna do is just delete this offset and we're just gonna create the other two columns down here. Okay, so column MD2, and then we're going to, inside of here is where we're gonna make the destroy button, or the delete button. But in order to do that, we actually need to create a form, which is kind of funny, I know, but that's how we get that, We that's the only way to get that method, um, of the delete method, so that it actually successfully deletes it. All right, so we're gonna open this form, and again, for those of you guys just joining in, you need the Laravel Collective, so you're gonna to wanna to go back and watch that video, which I'll link below but you need to have this installed to use these helpers because they're not installed by default. So we're gonna do form open. We're gonna open up an array and then we're going to give it a route to go to when they submit the form. And that route is going to be, we need another array in here because it's gonna to link to the um, index or uh, tags.destroy. All right, and then it needs the ID number. So then we're gonna give it tag ID like that, all right? And then the next item we're gonna give it is the method, all right? This is how we tell it to use the destroy method or the delete method, okay? So that's what we're gonna do there. And that's all we need now for when we open up our form. We can come down here and um, we can close the form. And then in the middle, we can add our button. So in order to do the button, we'll just do form submit. We're gonna give it the um, value of delete all right, and then we're gonna pass in a class just to style it up, and it'll be, uh, let's see, class, and we'll do um, BTN, BTN danger, which makes it red, and then we'll do BTN um, block, which makes it full width, so it fills the full two, two columns, and that's actually it, right? Now, up here we had a style, we added a inline style of 20 pixels, so let's just go ahead and do that as well while we're in here. So let's go ahead and do style, and we'll set style equal to um, margin top 20 pixels, like that. All right, okay, so that should be everything we need. Let's make sure we got both these saved, like that. Let's come back over here and refresh this page. And now we've got the delete button, so this is good. So let's go ahead and just try it. Uh, this is the destroy tag. So let's go ahead and delete this. And it was successfully deleted. It's no longer in our list. And if we go over to our posts, um, let's see, we had originally linked, I think, to this one. You can see it's no longer got that destroy tag. Um, this one too, no longer got the destroy tag, all right? It should no longer be in our list either. If we do destroy, there's no results found, okay? So it completely cleans it up. We destroyed the tag. We deleted any reference to the tag there as well. Okay, now it did say at the end of the video, the, first of all, real quick, that sums up the tags. The tags are done, guys. Nothing left to do, okay? Really, really good stuff. We've now done the full CRUD. We learned how to delete it correctly. And um, that's basically all we needed to do for tags. So go ahead and give yourselves a pat on the back. We're done with tags completely. All right, so what do we have left in this series? A lot of people are wondering what's left if I'm still doing this series because I posted you know, some, some new little series and everything like that. So people are wondering if I'm still doing this one. Obviously I am. Um, we're gonna finish out this series and there's basically three or four things left. Um, actually, I think, yeah, four or five things. Basically, we're gonna finish, we're gonna start a commenting system. And um, the, I wasn't, I, I debated on the commenting system, but I've gotten, I get so many requests for comment, for the comment system. So we're gonna go ahead and do it. So you don't need to worry about requesting it, I got it. We're gonna do the commenting system, that's the next videos. Um, and then we're gonna move in and we're gonna do a WYSIWYG editor, something like CK editor or something like that. And then we're gonna do image upload, okay? So we're gonna finish with those three 
And um, and then the final one will obviously be deploying it to a server, okay? So we'll do all of that, and that's gonna basically wrap up this series. That'll be it, and we'll be done with this, and then we're gonna be moving on to a bigger, more advanced, intermediate to advanced series on Laravel, which will be an e-commerce platform. So we'll be doing an e-commerce platform where you can buy, you know, buy stuff or sell stuff. I mean, um, take credit card payments. Um, we'll get, we're gonna get it pretty advanced. It's gonna be a really big project. However, we're gonna be doing other mini series in between. So just while I'm working on that, we're gonna have other series. I think we're gonna do an Angular JS series. We're gonna do some other mini series, like some smaller applications and stuff like that. Okay. So just because we're doing the mini series doesn't mean we're stopping the big ones. I just want to break up the channel for those people that aren't interested in the big series that we do going forward. Um, we have other stuff coming, you know, forward, and we're, that's pretty much how it's going to be from here on out. We'll always have a big series we're working on, and then we'll be doing the mini series or small videos in between. Okay, so I got a lot of stuff coming up, guys. I'm gonna actually post a video with more details about this um, in the, in a moment, and.